guys up to? Oh, just testing out a new product we've been working on. Looks kind of cool. Can I help? Oh, yes. We were looking for you. Um, stand, like, right there. What is this? Oh, that's, that's something else. It's different. Oh. Yeah. Sure this is safe? It's fine. I'm just, you know, these for safety. Still not so sure about this, guys. Don't worry about it. Just stand right there. Ow! 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 Hello, everyone, and welcome to a very special and epic Friday new product post. As you can see from the intro, we've got some very interesting things for you this week, so make sure you watch the whole video and stay tuned later for a neat little project. Um, so let's jump right in and see what we have for this week. First up, we've got the Larson Scanner Kit from Evil Mad Science. This is a kit that one would put together. And um, if you're not familiar with the Larson Scanner, it's that thing that's like in, uh, what was the car? Um, it's in Balscar Galactica, a little boop, 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 that thing. Um, guy named Larson came up with the idea. And this kit shows you how to build your very own scanner. Um, it comes with the board, some instructions. They're actually pretty cool. It's all like comic booky. Um, and then the other stuff in the kit, we've got a bunch of these um, big 10 millimeter LEDs that go in the slots there. Um, we've got a battery holder right there. And then we've got some LEDs, a button, and the pre-programmed IC. All of this has been taken apart for photos, so it comes actually a lot neater than what I'm showing. Um, but this is everything that's in the kit, and it is a beginner level kit. It takes, I don't know, it took me about 10 minutes to put together. So um, a beginner might take a half an hour to an hour. Um, someone that's a little bit more advanced might take you know, five or 10 minutes to put together. Um, and here is what you get. So this is what it looks like all put together. And if we turn it on, it does that. Now it's got a couple different modes. We can hold down the button and press it and make it go faster. We can make it go slower and dimmer. All these different little um, features with it. So it's a pretty cool little kit, and if you've wanted to have your very own Larson scanner, check this guy out. Next up, we've got a couple of new LilyPad products. We've got the LilyPad Simple Snap. Let me get it in there. Um, looks like that on one side. You can see that there's a nice LiPo battery, an FTDI header. And if we flip it over, this is where the magic happens. On the back, all the pedals of the lily pad here are actually these little snaps. Now these are nothing terribly special. These are just the standard snaps that you would find at any hobby or craft store. So by using these snaps, you can have this board just snap into your clothing or whatever it is you're um, you know, snapping this into. So instead of having to sew the thing in and then you know worrying about washing it or whatever, especially because there's a LiPo battery on here. You don't want to send this through the wash. Um, we've just got these little snaps. And it does have an Atmega 328 on it, so it is pretty much the same as any other lily pad that we have, except for all the connections are snaps instead of the little sewing. In addition, we have this board which goes with it. This is the Simple Snap prototyping board. And as you can see, it's very similar to this, but it doesn't have a microcontroller or anything else. It is just a prototyping board. So you can sew into here or solder into here and then snap in. So your sensors or connectors or other things that you have that you're using with your lily pad, you can just have them snap in here and you can connect them however you want. So this is just kind of a new way of thinking about the lily pad. Um, instead of sewing or soldering, now we have these convenient little snaps that just snap together. Um, so now your designs can just snap into clothing. It's fantastic. Um, in addition, we will be carrying these snaps separately. We just don't have them quite yet, but we will be selling little baggies so you can um, buy snaps directly from us and use them. But I will say most craft stores will have these um, mating snaps. Just you know, check the product page for the actual um, size of these, but they're pretty universal, so a hobby store will be just fine. So check these two guys out. In addition, for the lily pad products, we also have these two things. Um, initially, these might look like either the ProtoSnap lily pad um, development board or the ProtoSnap e-sewing e board, but they're actually stickers. Um, the purpose behind these is that let's say you're doing a design and you don't want to snap apart all your ProtoSnap pieces because you, you, know, you want to actually keep them intact to prototype with. The beauty about the ProtoSnap is that 
it works when it's all put together and then by snapping of the part then you have to sew into it or solder into it. So what we do is we have these stickers that you can just simply peel the components apart, stick them to your shirt like this, and you can plan out and design your project and you don't have to actually disassemble your protosnap yet. So you can just plan this out, you can even sew everything in place, peel off the stickers, then break apart your board and then sew it on. So if you're looking to do a protosnap project, you might want to pick up one of these stickers so that you can plan out your project a little bit better. Last up, we've got this little grouping of products. Um, at first glance, it doesn't seem that exciting, but I'm really excited by it um, because we do a lot of projects that require 12 volts and 5 volts, and this is perfect. This is basically just your standard laptop power supply um, connected with a little uh, Molex connector right there. And this actually supplies 12 volts at 2 amps and 5 volts at 2 amps. So you've got the um, four pins right there. You've got like a 12 volt, a ground, um, another ground, and the 5 volt. So the beauty about this is let's say you have that 12 volt solenoid that we sell or the water pump or any of the other 12 volt things. You want to power those, but you also have your microcontroller at 5 volts, you know. This can power both of them at the same time with the same supply. So that's really handy. In addition, we have the um, IEC cable that comes with it. This is your just standard 15 amp power cord. Um, this is the thing that's on computers, monitors, everything else like that. It, you know, is the standard thing that comes on um, laptops. So we're selling these separately for the for the reason that most people probably already have one of these cables. So if you don't need this cable, you know, and already have one laying around the house, you can just buy the power supply completely separately. So you don't need to, you know, buy another cable that you don't need. Plus, for international customers, you might have a different plug. Um, in addition to this, we also have a couple mating connectors and jacks. Um, we have this guy, which is just bare pigtails that connect directly into this. So you get the nice Molex jack, and then you get the bare wires on the other side. So you can use this to plug in, wire this on your other side. Pretty awesome. We also have a board mount connector. Um, so this guy would actually snap into your board with the proper footprint, and then you can have this plug directly into the side of your board. Or we have this little guy, which is just your standard through hole that you could put into a board like that, or you could just, you know, solder your own wires to it and heat shrink them up and make it all nice and pretty. So we have all these different little pieces that fit together that give you 12 volts at 2 amps or 5 volts at 2 amps. Well, it's not or, that gives you both at the same time. So 5 volts at 2 amps, 12 volts at 2 amps simultaneously. Um, so in thinking about this project um, that we were trying to do with this, we realize that ultimately this is just a power supply. It is nothing inherently special. It is just a means to power something. So we could have done any of the past projects that we do. Um, we've done a lot of projects previously that have required 12 volts, and we could have just done that. I wanted to do something a little bit different with it, so um, let's go into my office and let's talk about what we came up with for the power supply. So here we are in the office, and as you can see, this is a lovely picture, an effigy, if you will, of Dave, and it's filled with pens. So this laptop power supply has a four-pin Molex connector on the end, which is the same type of connector found commonly on hard drives. So what we've done is we've actually taken a hard drive, taken off the cover, and we got rid of some of these useless bits, like, um, you know, we've got the arm here, and we've got all these platters and stuff. We don't need any of that. So what we're left with is this spindle. Well, as fortune would have it, this little toy tire that we have is the exact same pattern or um, bolt configuration as the spindle. So all we did is bolt this on. We actually took a platter and added it for a little bit of extra mass, added some micro racks, and this is what we have. We have this. This is the Epic or the electronic pen inertial cannon. And this will spin up to, you know, 5,000, 7,000 RPM. And this little drop down tray, we feed it with pens, put a pen in there, pull back on the trigger, snaps it forward, loads the pen into the wheel, and shoots it out at Dave. And in addition to that, since this laptop power supply is both 12 volt and 5 volt, 
we're able to take advantage of that, tap into the five volts, and we actually have a laser sight on the bottom. So when we plug this in, we've actually got a nice laser sight, which is about two inches off from what the actual point is. You can see that we can get a very tight cluster um, with this. It's very repeatable and very accurate. So as you can see, we've got it loaded up um, with a magazine of pens. This is just a basic gravity-fed magazine. Um, it can hold 10 pens at once. And when we pull back on this, a little plunger will slide back and then push it into place into the wheel over here. Um, and we're going to plug it in here, and I'll show you the laser sight first, and we'll show a couple shots. So that is the drive spinning up. There is the laser sight. And let me shoot one off. So there you have it, another epic Friday new product post. So check out all the new products we have for this week, and I think at SparkFun we have proven that the pen is mightier than the sword. So we'll see you again next week with even more new products.